Hello everyone and welcome back to another Apostles of Munchinjuka podcast. My name is Mazbabe Charles and I would like to say thank you to everyone who's been watching and who's been listening to all of our videos and we hope that they have been of some help to you. Last week I spoke about Baba Joani and the miracles of Baba Joani and I sort of detailed the history, some that is his, written in the history books so that people might be able to have a better understanding of the foundation that is in Masowe. And for this week we wish to bring more enlightenment within the Church of Apostles of Muchinjikwas itself of where it began and where it is going and the miracles that have been happening from us from our journey because once I've said before is that people think that the Holy Spirit is dead but no the Holy Spirit continues living and the works of Christ are still being done even today and others just don't realize that it is still happening and it is still being seen and miracles are still being witnessed by many. So for this week I wish to detail the journey of the messenger that was given to us by God and the message that he was given that the works that God is doing through him, they have a meaning behind them. If you listen to when you come to visit our churches and you understand the message that has been spread by him who was given the message by God and the work that has been done, is saying that the blind are able to see, the deaf are made to hear, and the mute are given speech once again. Those who could not walk are able to walk once again. And the message this was like, there is a reason why God is doing this. There is a purpose that he is doing this for. And people don't follow and they don't ask that, okay, once you've done this, why did you do it? What is it that you want from us? What is it that God is seeking from us? So if I take you just back slightly a little bit, of when he first started this mission. You take it back when he was still just a young boy and he was still in his early teens and he was growing up and him and his little sister had gone back in the days what they used to do is the little children could go and they would go to trees and they will try to catch some birds and so that they could have meat back in those days. As we all know in the olden days there was a lot of suffering within the place of Zimbabwe. And so he went with his little sister and while they were doing that he climbed on top of a tree and on top of that tree he spoke and he said to us that I saw birds that were coming down and they were white and when they came down one went on my shoulder and the one on the other shoulder and one went on top of my head and when it became like that he felt the Holy Spirit descend on him and he started to speak in a language that he did not understand. And as he was speaking in that language, he started to shake the tree. But as he was shaking that tree, then all the birds that were there started to fall. And his little sister did not know what was happening and they would say to him, Oh, do that thing again, do that thing again. But she did not know what had started to descend upon him. And he would do it and he would do it and they caught so much birds that it, it filled the bags that they had bought in order to collect. So it was at that moment where then she said, okay, let's go back home. She realized that something was deeply disturbing him as he couldn't talk in the normal language. He couldn't walk and he had to crawl back all the way home. And she ran until she got there to her parents and she said, he's not able to walk. He can't speak. And then that's when they came and he got help. And it was just one of this into a brief revelation of how the Holy Spirit first started coming into Apostles of Muchinjigwa. And it was sort of the beginning of this church and of our foundation that we have now. And since then he started saying that was when the Holy Spirit first started to use me. But it was only when I got older and it was at the age that I got to 30 that I started to properly do the works of God as he had commanded me and as he is still telling me in order to do. And it was at that time that he was given things that he was meant to speak and to tell to the world. And he said that, I've been given a mission and I've been given a message in order to get God's people back to him. And he said, one of the stuff that I constantly hear the Lord telling me is that I want you to give the hearts 
of the children back to the parents and the hearts of the parents back to the children. So the Holy Spirit is calling for reconciliation between the parents and the children in order to get all of them back together so that we might be able to live within harmony once again. And it is this kind of works that he was given by the Holy Spirit and the message that he has, that he has to give to people. So when he describes it to us, he says, it's not about the miracles. The miracles is just for you in order to understand that God is there and for you in order to believe that God is there. But I have not been sent to perform miracles. I have not been sent to perform wonders, but I have been sent in order to assist people in their salvation in order to us to to complete the work that God has given me because God wants people to be saved so he says that this is the work that I have been given and initially when he had just started the works of God as I said that he mainly started this ministry when it was about 30 years old that's when he started the works that he is doing the apostolic works that he is doing and when he started that, at first he just started preaching and he was just telling people and he was just being an ordinary preacher. And two, there was a time that a woman came. And when that woman came and she used to pray with them and they used to pray and he used to lead her. And then the Holy Spirit descended on her one day and she said, no, you are hiding from people. There is something that you have been sent. There's something that you have been told by the Lord that there's a mission that you have been given and you need to tell people this. And it was at that time that he said, it is true. I am preaching to you, but there's something more that I have to do. There's something, there's a message that I have been given, that I have been told to give to people so that they might be able to be saved. And it was through these works that the Holy Spirit started to work through him. And he said that, Lord has told me that, go forth and I shall be with you. And do not be afraid And any of the wonders that I have done, you too shall be able to do. Because I and the Spirit that I am shall be with you. And at that time, that's when he used to say this stuff. And it was when a woman came who was blind because he spoke and he said, The Lord who has sent me has said that I shall give you power and even the blind shall see. And there was a woman that was there, an elderly woman that came and unfortunately she was blind. And then she said to him, Oh my son, I cannot see. And then he said, as a priest, he said, As a human being, I was afraid because... I had just been told by God that I can do this, but I had not done it yet. So I became afraid. I was like, what would happen if she does not see? What would happen to the message? What would happen to the work that I meant to do? What will happen to me? But he said it was at that time, that's when he heard the Holy Spirit move through in him. And it spoke and it said to him, do not be afraid for I am with you. And the Holy Spirit said, just told him what to do. And he took a bit of mud and he prayed and he rubbed it over her eyes. And then he asked her and she said, what do you see? And she said, it's, it's still not clear yet, but I can sort of see something white, something white. And then he prayed for her again. And then he said, what do you see? He said, I, she said, I can see sort of like people, but it seems that they are all wearing white. And then he prayed for her again and then said, what do you see? And then, she, he said, and then she said to him, oh, my son, are you not, you are very young. And then, she, then he was like, oh, rejoice for now you can see again. And it showed the power of the Holy Spirit and the works of the Holy Spirit. But there is always a deeper meaning to the miracles of which God is doing. The miracle of the blind being able to see is not just about showing people that God has the power in order to let people see but it's showing that there is a way that was lost and there was a darkness that had covered all of us but there is the Holy Spirit who is able to allow us to see so we must be strong and we must be faithful in all that we do and allow the enlightenment of the Holy Spirit to lead us and so this is what he's saying that there's a message that I have been given and the people should hear the words of God and people should be saved. So this is what 
as apostles of Mushinjuko, we try to do. There is a message that God is giving to his servants that people should hear. There is a message of salvation that is meant to be given out to all of the world. And we are just trying to say, let us all come together so that we can deliver that message of God, so that people may be saved, so that people may know the glory of God. And it was with that I will say thank you for listening to this week's podcast. And I hope that it has been of some help to you. And let's, let's say glory be to God.